Hey guys, Keith Lim here, and today I would like to do, um, okay, actually, and yes, I'm doing this, and for those of you wondering, yeah, I had kept my promises a few times, and I broke it, but this is no exception, since I'll be doing, well, this is going to be the last season I'll be doing for Ruggo's show, and before I start this review, i like to quickly mention that I will... Now, I looked at Austria Voxes and actually noticed that, cart that these show oh, that Cartoon Hour actually ended were actually by the creators, not the channel itself. And I know that Burger Show and Gumball are going to be cancelled, and I probably think I'll never see these shows again, and probably think it Cartoon Hour is... Downfall, and I know this is... I'm going to say this is as downfall, because I'm going to... Because I see it as just a downfall. Now, yes, Cartoon Network got back its roots back after they cancelled No, their live action slash also that you know, that show I hate. Of that despised channel I hate. Hint. Furt. Anyways. Anyways, ways let me continue. Anyways, so I, what I'm reviewing today is going to be one space is at a time. Yeah, the fr and cool and cool robots. Yeah. Anyways, let's get this review done. And so this is officially season eight. So let's. So yeah, the story starts where Mordecai and Rigby just basically just were uh, okay after the events of the graduation. Yeah, after the events of what happened in life of the finale, R Rigby's graduation day, we get to where we left off. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, they flew to space and they were going crazy, and they need to find some internet signal. They had to find some things and had to use the thing they said for the internet signal. Yeah, they had to get the internet signal. Honestly, they found they got some supplies, and oddly enough, they grab. Uh, I'm just gonna say it's a caveman. We found out uh, is the caveman, and yeah, look at this episode reminds me of these two episodes I have have seen, in but haven't re were cavemen. Because the funniest thing is that the cave. We had to see. We had seen this pose before, and I don't know why they just grabbed the meat. Aside from looking, seeing, uh, weirdly, oddly enough, this. Anyways, we get to continue stuff, and well, also more Kyrie B. Also, so found these hover cards, which actually, honestly, I don't think they actually also call back to that time, to that time traveling device from, well, the bad kiss episode. And oh, one sec, I got it. One sec. Sorry, my tutor was there, and I have to uh, see who was at the door, and uh, yeah. Anyways, call back to the time traveling episode. We get we follow the space and found this weird caller signal that it gets made. After that, and moving on to more. then they get to the community call and actually show the phone that says trust no one. And then that's it for the episode. I do like this episode. Yeah, the ship came actually. Anyways, now one space day at a time. And yeah, honestly, I did like it. Next episode. Boot. <laughs> the robots. The cool robot. Sorry, I'm just reading the reference to this. This is actually basically. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Sorry, the robots. Sorry, I'm playing cool robots. So, yeah. I do like the episode, and actually continues where we left off, which actually shows the robots trusting no one, and actually. No, yeah, they do sound a robot accent, and they're trying to go be kind to them, but in reality, they're trying to take some natural resources and sell it to the robot black market. Yes, that's a thing. Yeah. Just want to point it out just to me. Just to want to make sure I don't. Also, I got some things to review and. Yeah, I know. Anyways, I do like they actually have. The episode really kind of. I do like it. I. Ha! Ah, well, yes. I'm going with some montages. The only. The weirdest thing. Actually, I looked at. One of them is basically. Yeah. And so, yeah, they turned out to be evil when these guys actually came in. And unfortunately, the cool. And then the. The robots create had designed these two had made a jet temple lot and jack and a big and the blue ox which is actually a reference to something that I'm not gonna say it. Anyway, I don't, I don't know what it was reference to, but yeah. Anyways honestly we get to these three the soldiers, one park soldiers, one that sounds like McCree, one basically being Mc being Hanzo this is what happens when basically if you make if you fusion McCree with Han Solo, that's what I got. For one, this the man, the guy looks almost like McCree, but the only difference is change in the and oh, sorry, he looks like Han Solo, but he sounds like a lot like McCree. Yes, oh sorry, sorry I meant sorry, I'm trying to go with the combo with that good joke I had. Anyways, it was di okay <clears throat> when. And also, this guy sounds like uh, that cowboy that I also really remember from that game that recently tries to rip out Tia too. What was it? Ah, oh, yes, it's a McCree. Yeah, sorry, I'm not good at jokes. And then we get is whatever the robot is, and the girl who almost looks like that one girl from Street Fighter. Unfortunately, I forgot her name. Unfortunately. Anyways. Oh, I could no. I f don't feel like rating this episode at the moment. So yeah, I'm just going to end this review here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.